Hello guys, what's up? Vlad here and boy this is going to be one crazy weekend because we have a new Marvel's Avengers farming method for both upgrade modules and patterns and as you can see I'm pretty excited to share it with you. So welcome back friends and before we begin I want to outline several things. The first one is that yesterday we have discussed how to farm upgrade modules and how to farm patterns in Marvel's Avengers using the DNA keys we get while farming Polycoron. In yesterday's video you also saw that DNA chests contain various patterns and some of you already used that method to get epic patterns and even legendary patterns. But today we are going to farm DNA chests without DNA keys, which is quite crazy and credits for this method go to Bobby WB who left us a comment on yesterday's video on how to farm Marvel's Avengers DNA chests faster because we won't have to go for the DNA keys anymore. So thank you Bobby WB for this method and also welcome to our small family. Good then, so let's begin and see how this goes but keep in mind that this time you won't have to go offline and change the time on your consoles. So the first thing we have to do is to get one DNA key assuming you don't have one in your inventory. If you do you can skip this step obviously but if you don't then you will want to complete a villain sector such as this one. You can complete any villain sector you want and you can do it on easy difficulty because you'll still get one DNA key unless the boss drops one close to you. After you beat the boss as you can see I was lucky and got two DNA keys, one from Abomination and one as a reward for the said mission but you only need one. Next we are going to return to the war table and here we are going to make several changes. First this farming method requires Iron Man so you may want to reach level 50 because you are going to use several skills to make the most out of this method which requires the Hulkbuster. As such first we are going to activate the heroic takedown mastery in the mastery tab because we need heroic orbs to fill our heroic bar thus being able to activate the Hulkbuster whenever we want. So this skill allows you to get more heroic orbs on takedowns. Second we are going to activate the hyper coil skill in the speciality tab because we want our Hulkbuster to stay active as much as possible in case something goes wrong. And third we are going to activate the energy condenser skill also in the speciality tab because this skill allows us to get even more heroic orbs when we defeat enemies with the unibeam. These are the changes I suggest you make although just so you know they are not mandatory but Iron Man is. Next we are going back to our beloved Elite Snowy Tundra Vault mission where we are going to farm the same DNA strong box as yesterday. Now before we begin keep in mind that this location is not mandatory meaning that if you have a better one you can use that but I am farming this mission because I know all DNA chests locations. Good so Elite Snowy Tundra Vault mission and obviously brutal difficulty it is but this again is not mandatory and by that I mean that you can do it on a lower difficulty if your Iron Man's power level is low like mine. <laughs> on brutal difficulty though you will get more upgrade modules as in 15 per DNA chest and you also have the best chance to get epic and legendary patterns from the same chest. So if your Iron Man can handle it go with brutal difficulty this is recommended. So here we are and as you can see in my inventory I have two DNA keys. So let's head to the first DNA chest which you already know that is located behind the first gate on a platform on the left side. When you get there before opening the DNA chest activate the Hulkbuster and as you can see you'll be able to open the strong box without using a DNA key. Simple as that. Now you want to move to the next DNA chest which is located northwest from the previous one inside the small building. By the time you get there you have to kill some enemies to refill your Hulkbuster ability and this is where the skills we set up come into action. So take down and use your Unibeam on the enemies you encounter and then solve the puzzle and open the DNA chest again while inside the Hulkbuster. Moving on we need to head northeast towards the large antenna in the distance and obviously refill the Hulkbuster by defeating the enemies we encounter and then activate it again to open the next chest. Finally we are going back towards the first gate and here we go left where the elite enemy is located. Refill your Hulkbuster on the way by killing the aim enemies near the hostage cage then head north and in front of the aim gate in the mountain on a balcony you'll find the final DNA chest you need to open while inside the same old 
Hulkbuster. And that's it, you have farmed all the NHS and if I open my inventory you can see that I still have the DNA keys I started with. Amazing, right? So if you are playing this oh, brutal, even though I didn't, because my Iron Man sucks, <laughs> you will get 60 upgrade modules per run and maybe some patterns as I have shown you in yesterday's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and again credits go to Bobby WB and until next time stay safe and have an amazing weekend.